basic cities of acids eh? okay the basic cities of acid okay now this is actually another classifications of acid eh? but normally okay we do not classify into this way but you just need to know that sir eh? okay acid can also be classified through this uh, basic city okay now anyway what, what does it mean by the basic city okay so basic cities of an acid is the number of hydrogen ions which can be produced by one molecule of the acid what does this mean eh? okay so for example uh, hydrogen chloride when dissolved in water it forms one hydrogen ion okay uh, sulfuric acid when dissolved in water it forms two hydrogen ion and one sulfate ion phosphoric acid when dissolved in water it forms three hydrogen ion and one phosphate ion how many hydrogen ions produce when one acid molecule dissolve in water is called the basic city how many hydrogens huh? okay if it's just one hydrogen then we call this monoprotic if uh, two hydrogen produce then it's a uh, diprotic and if three hydrogen ions produce then it's triprotic so basic city depends on how many hydrogen ions produced when uh, this acid dissolve in water so basic city of, of an acid is the number of hydrogen ions which can be produced uh, by one molecule of the acid so basic city of an acid is the number of hydrogen ion which can be produced by one molecule of acid. I think it's, a, it's the same sentence, eh? okay? Uh, for example, so monoprotic acid. Monoprotic acid is the acid where it produces one hydrogen ion eh? from one acid molecule. For example, uh, hydrogen, uh, hydrochloric acid, okay? Hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, and uh, ethanoic acid, eh? okay? This one is ethanoic acid. This is called ethanoic acid. Oh, let me write here. This is called ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. Hydrogen chloride, eh, when dissolved in water, it forms hydrogens and chloride ions. Eh? Okay, so just one, one hydrogen ion, eh? so it's monoprotic. Nitric acid is also the same. Okay, it will form uh, uh, one hydrogen ion and one nitrate ions. Okay, so it's uh, monoprotic. Eh? Okay. For the third one, this is ethanoic acid. Eh? Ethanoic acid, it has four hydrogen ions. Okay, three here and one here, four hydrogen ions. Eh? But when this acid dissolves in water, it will only form one hydrogen ion. Now, these three hydrogen eh, does not dissociate from the molecule. Okay, it's still part of the molecule. Okay, so only one hydrogen ion produced. Only this one, this one. Uh, disassociate from the molecule and form one hydrogen ion eh? since this one hydrogen ion produced and therefore this is called monoprotic acid so monoprotic acid is the acid that produces only one hydrogen ion eh? when uh, the molecules of the acid dissolve in water so these are a few examples of diprotic eh? sulfuric acid okay sulfuric acid eh? uh, it will form two hydrogen ion and one sulfate ions eh? okay this one eh? H2SO3, this is SO4, uh, this is SO3, uh, SO3, and uh, this one is called sulfurous acid. Uh. Sulfurous acid. Okay, sulfurous acid, when dissolved in water, it will form two hydrogen ions, okay, therefore it's called diprotic. Uh, okay, and at the same time, it will produce uh, this SO3 to negative. Now, this is called sulfite. Uh. Sulfite. SO4 to negative, this is sulfate sulfate eh? so this is sulfate this is sulfide eh? so 4 2 negative so 3 2 negative and since uh, it produced two hydrogen ions eh? so it's a diprotic uh, this one is a carbonic acid okay carbonic acids when dissolved in water it will form two hydrogen ions and one carbonate ion uh, so this is diprotic acid and uh, the last one is a triprotic acid triprotic acid means it will form three hydrogen ions when dissolved in water it will form three hydrogen ions and one phosphate uh, phosphate ions okay, so this is a triprotic acid physical properties mm, you need to memorize these physical properties okay first uh, all acid has a sour taste sour taste uh, the ph value is less than seven seven is neutral uh, less than seven is acid it can conduct electricity and it's corrosive so this is the physical properties of acid eh? and you need to remember this eh? because in exam they may give you uh, ob usually it's objective question eh? they give you the few a few properties eh? okay a few properties and then they ask you which of the following are the properties of acid and then you need to know eh? uh, sour taste 
pH less than 7 can conduct electricity and corrosive.